So I was just, so I was just finishing up. Um, all right, so, um, so does he have an account? Yeah, I'm gonna turn the accounts on. Um, I didn't have them right now because the sharing, I wanna have actually, the community services are really, th this thing actually is about um, a couple things and one of them is a community service for people that wanna do critical analysis debate or find high resolution conversation. Okay. Um, and you're going to have an account for that. Um, I do want to sort of uh, make sure that I enable people who want to come and use it without accounts, but I think obviously you'll have to because you want to protect your notes. Yeah, that'll be really easy to do. The note sets, there's multiple note sets for a given video, and they will um, also, you know, people will have private ones. Um, can you name them? Yeah, not na now. Can you share them? You will be able to. Are they public? Currently, for the beta testers, yes, they're all public, except for that nobody knows what you've named it. Um, there's a, and I know you are going to not approve of this. It's still got its engineering name, but there's a no classification, which is really like a save file for that note set. Okay, that's the way it works. Um, are they public? Yeah, I'm private. Okay. Uh, can people comment on the annotations? Oh, thank you for asking. Not at the moment, but yes, I have a comment system. I actually adapted this from somewhere else. That's um, uh, we'll forget that because I kind of changed it, so it's not like I, I took it from somewhere else. The point is, I, I there's techniques um, in the Google Data Store available that I'm using for commenting and voting on anything in the database, basically. But I haven't exposed it. There's a lot of features actually that. I've been building over the years that I haven't brought into this product um, because it's a whole set of tools and this is just trying to focus on this idea of time annotation which by the way is focused on the fact that I like the idea of commenting on other people's videos but I can't watch the whole video a third time uh, can't meaning don't want to take the time uh, I don't want to download the videos which for a long time I couldn't but I finally got a tool where that's easy but then you have to go through and it's just a lot of editing and I see people turn it on and point their camera specifically they're saving editing time um, and I'm like fine if you've done that then you want to have gone through there and marked something to get around where you want to film right so it's a tool that I want to use but it does occur to me that other people uh, will want to use it um, so that's the whole point of it now you said I'm just venting nothing personal I doubt I'll use the tool so please don't take the time to answer my questions no, I appreciate that you did it. And of course, I'm going to come back with it's superficial. I mean, this is even professional. I've worked with dozens of web designers, right? And if they come back and say, well, that looks like crap, and I'm, it'll be like, yeah, because you haven't done your job yet, you know, or whatever. Because it, I just, I'm not going to put up with superiority. People have this aesthetic. Hey, look, dude, we're, we're paying you to use that aesthetic. And it's a dime a dozen people that think they have the right aesthetic and they all disagree with each other. But, of course, they'll all get together and agree, but that programmer website, that's abysmal, that's disgusting. How could you even serve that from a web server? It's like, because I know how to make this stuff from scratch. And believe me, I'm not putting bells and whistles and dingly bobs right on my server from the start so it could just die under the syrup that you guys like. Ugh. I have pretty stark taste, you know. We build the tools for ourselves, utilitarian. Um, because we could give that a face, you know. And I want help from web designers, you know. I'm interested. Uh, people could volunteer. For, I mean, the real problem here is strong opinions about websites that you aren't going to use. When you say, when you know that you don't really have interest in a tool like that, and then you're complaining why it's unappealing to you. It's often that the web designer attitude doesn't get that you're not into this, that's why. But you could make it pretty enough that I'd spend some time with it. I don't want you slowing down my server. I don't mean you, first of all, I mean thousands of people that are using my website because, wow, I love these colors. <laughs> and I don't need my database hit for that. It's, it's, I am intending with these tools to improve human conversation online to allow to help critical analysis of things like pr uh, 
public statements, uh, critical analysis of each other, uh, high resolution conversations where people can say, no, what you said at 1042. Now people can do that now and they can embed it in their video. But with the system I have, those notations are all gonna be saved. Furthermore, I'm gonna have a two player version. This should work because I've already had this one thing I don't think I've ever shown that, or I might have shown, um, that does all the replies and does this, uh, you know, chart of all these many replies and, and you could have each thumbnail be a player and so I'm sure there'll be no problem with the controlled player, hopefully there might be because of the, all the globals in the JavaScript, but, but I'll have to solve that. So this isn't happening right away, but we'll have more than one player and so these annotations will be saved so not only can the person refer to that time code and either have it in their video if they're allowed to do that or they can play it at my place and the notes could come up and you can see the, what the person is quoted and you can also see what is that expand the context because you're right there at the original video that's my goal is to improve that I don't, other than that um, yeah, that, that's my goal. But thanks for wanting people, random guys, to use it to its fullest extent. And I think, no doubt, you, you do sound like you could improve the look and feel of this website. And I, I need someone to do that. Um, but when, um, you know, when it's a little bit more mature, I'm getting around to that point. Now, if I was working with someone already, um, I wouldn't have a lot of the stuff. I wouldn't have all their fonts around the stuff. I probably would have better banner art, things like that. There'd probably be a side tool of links to other things that other people were working on. But this is a uh, bottom up here, right? This is a leaf in a node of a website where this is the leaf and basically I built the whole website just to funnel to this leaf. Um, all the naming is engineering and uh, it might go to press that way because I'm an engineer and I like it that way and it makes it stark and utilitarian and I I would like people to use it but I would like people to use it um, that I would like utilitarians to use it but I'd like it to look as good as possible too and I was already thinking about the colors and stuff because it could be it's just that you know if you give it color I could give it the rainbow thing but to, to give color to something requires some subtle care. I mean, I do have aesthetics above the quality of this web page. It's just that they don't come in. I mean, this isn't yet an aesthetic thing, except for the aesthetics of sort of mouse motion. Like, I've spent a lot of time thinking I put the notes below and the add note to the side, and I'm still not sure that maybe the add note should go underneath and the notes to the side, especially since when you play the video, it tracks the notes. It keeps the notes visible and highlights the current note when it hits a note so it'll probably be better to, so things like that are important what fonts are in there it's just not that time but if I was working with somebody who wanted to fix the fonts I'd go yeah go fix the font or yeah do your job 